you're going to need to add about 30% on top of the price as I quote you here. So this sofa add another £90 in auction commission. So here we are, Bamford's auction room on a day when I was filming BBC Bargain Hunt. You might have heard of it. It's been around for 20 something years. Anyway, whilst I was waiting to do my work, I had a wander around. Now this fella didn't sell, made out of fiberglass. I'm not so sure. Would you have him at home? Let me know. <laughs> Contact the auction room if you fancy him. They might still have him. So here's our green room. Some of the contestants in there, not really allowed to film in there, but you can see a little bit. Lots of snacks, chocolate crisps and all sorts of goings on, waiting to go into the auction room. So we'll have a little wander around and I'll show you the things that caught my eye and I'll drop in the prices as we go. And of course, this is James Lewis. You probably have heard of James Lewis, maybe remember him from TV. He's not on so much these days. Blackamoors, no great age to them, but really decorative. Very, very good looking things. I would certainly have them in my home. What about you? Royal Crown Derby, wow. Now this stuff used to be an awful lot of money, as you may well know. If you are an old collector of this stuff, you will be feeling the pain. Look at that, 160 pounds in its box, not bad. Really, probably halved in value over the last 15 years or so. But that's just the way it goes, isn't it? Another view, this is the, the second Blackamoor. See, very interior design, isn't it? That's the market. Again, they're not hugely old, but the market doesn't really care too much now. It's all about the look. Just keep wandering around. It's all very modern, this sale room, actually. This is James Lewis's new sale room, or rather new in the last few years. I haven't seen him for a number of years. You'll see him in a moment. He's on the rostrum. You can hear his booming voice. I'll have a wander in, I think. Now, don't forget, if you'd like me to help you sell your antiques wherever you are in the world, do get in touch. As long as we can make an interesting video, we can do it. Good traditional pieces of furniture. Wow, I mean, look at that long case clock there. A couple of hundred quid, probably. That's it. It's all they're worth. And then mixed in with, what's that? A movie memorabilia of some sort? More than memorabilia. A prop, I would think. That'll probably make an awful lot more money than the one case clock there. <laughs> Bizarre, isn't it? Now, these are very good things to buy right now, by the way. Let's see, what would you take home? Let me find something that I would desperately want to own. Well, very nice, but a bit too traditional. What do we have? Good writing desk. Oh, that would have been two or three thousand pounds easily. 20 years ago, probably low hundreds now. Oh no, I like that. Dutch cabinet. I've got something very similar to that, but in the full size at home. That is gorgeous. 18th century. Dutch marquetry inlaid. Quite a big estimate on this, 1,500 to 2,000 pounds. I think it's top heavy, but it is lovely. And described by the auction as 19th century, so maybe I might be over-egging it by say it's 18th, but I think it probably is 18th. Okay, let's call it late 18th, early 19th, but still gorgeous. Now, it's funny because in the world of antiques, these smaller objects, Look at that inlay. Now you can see the marquetry is real, not just painted on. If you rub your nail across the marquetry, you can feel the ridges. So yeah, these smaller pieces are more valuable than the bigger ones, really. Look at that chamfered off backboard. Backboard's original, which is absolutely crucial. Backboard's matching in color there, so it's not a marriage. Oh, 
Aha, uh -huh. I recognise that model, that is Eros, uh, after the original in the British Museum. So fourth century Greek is the original. This is a modern facsimile of. Very good. Like that a lot. I love my busts and my heads. Hmm, quite fancy that. The right sort of money. Oh. Okay, we'll keep an eye on that one. Bargain Hunt teams down there. There's uh, old Charlie Ross. John the sound man. I might just sneak up on them in a minute. I think I will. Hello, John. <laughs> I think they're ignoring me. Oh, Charlie and James having a quick... Hello. Right, get back to filming, Charlie. And there's Izzy. It's nice how everyone's ignoring me. Probably a good idea. Hello.